We're off and uh, pacing. Fleetwood, Cam, and Camel from the outside are darting out to challenge Gilberio and Sakatuam. For the early lead as they race into the first turn, down at the rail is DJ's Coca-Cola Cowboy for Todd Trites, getting away in three. Gapping out slightly there in the four spot is Silver Hill King with Crow. As they move into the back stretch, first time they're headed to the opening quarter, and Mark Campbell takes charge with Fleetwood Cam as they race past the opening quarter. Now peeking out of the pocket is Barrio and Socket to him. They drive up now to take over the lead as they race out of the three-eighths. It's Socket to him. Taking over top spot, leading at a length and a half. Second is Fleetwood Cam. Then DJ's Coca-Cola Cowboy sitting a tight up third. Closing that gap now from four. That's Crow and Silver Hill King. Back in the five spot, Jason Hughes and Pictonians Derby as they round the top turn, entering the stretch now for the first time. The quarter was paced in 28 and one-fifth second. They make their way past the halfway marker. Suck it to him, leads the way. Early challenger, here comes Silver Hill King. On the outside, now to challenge second. In out the rail is Fleetwood Cam pacing third. Then DJ's Coca-Cola Cowboy has four. Looking to the outside, Pictonians Derby from five. Then on the inside, racing in six is Pia Hanover, seventh, and uh, taken to the outside as they continue on to the backside is Pick and Scoop, and at the back of the field, half a mile. They make their way past three quarters, and Socket to them holds the lead by three parts of a length. Outside, braving it first over, is Silver Hill King and Crow. On the inside, Mark Campbell and Fleetwood Cam. They're getting a ground-saving trip in a three. They race on now to the 7 8 58 and 3 was the half as they race past the 7 8 three quarters, 1, 28 and 1, and Barrio opening up on the front end is clear by four. As they turn for home, it's socket to them with an advantage of some five expanding lengths. On down the lane they come. It's all socket to them. And Gilles Barrio here in the second leg, finishing second. It's close on the inside. Looks like Fleetwood Cam and Campbell. Third is Crow with Silver Hill King. Inquiry sign has been posted. Inquiry in the second race. Judges looking at the break made by the seven entry Pia Hanover. Well, here's a look at the slow-mo as they get through the stretch here. And uh, it was Barrio tonight. We talked about this horse in the pre-race, Peter. And uh, Barrio wanted the point and keep things rolling here tonight. And as you can see, it looks very good in the stretch. Yeah, Lee, we thought on the drop here tonight that this horse would be very hard to beat. Fleetwood Cam uh, had the lead just briefly. And I love Joe's call here. Peeking out of the pocket early with Saka to him. Barrio regained the lead. 28-1, and 58-3. Jill to the three quarters. Still there, 128-1. And, and really, he pulled away in deep stretch to win easily here tonight. 158-1. and one. Saka to him and Barrio. They win the second. Hey friends on the East Coast, it's Kelly from the Tarmac Show at Grand River Raceway. We're looking forward to hosting the National Driving Championship on September 26th. Look forward to seeing you then. Now back to race day. Joining Jill's Barrio as he makes his way back to the winner's circle with uh, veteran campaigner Sockatoom right to his left by Mark as a 10-year-old, 158-1 in Jill's. You're no uh, stranger to the winner's circle to get this old campaigner uh, in here again tonight. Yeah, Kenny told me all about him, and I thought he was one of the better ones in there, so I just kind of gave him a chance. So he did his work, the old fellow. Thanks very much, Jill. Good luck the rest of the evening. Back in the winner's enclosure, the winner of the second race in the Atlantic Regional Driving Championship, number four, Socket to him. He's a 10-year-old B, son of Arcane Hanover, under the Cam Fellow Dam prestigious Cam. Owned and trained by Kenny Parker Jr. of Gaze River, Nova Scotia. Driven a victory this evening by Jill Berrio. Jill going right to the 10-year-old's mark of 158 and 1 -fifth. Cooler in the second race was kindly sponsored this evening by Greenhawk Turo.